You know, it's just too... Okay. Okay. We don't need to keep pushing that tonight. That's a good start. What up, y'all? This boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon's Delight. So, uh, PD was quite interesting at the end of the episode, man. So, um, we know Burzak has been going through it ever since uh, Burgess experienced that uh, incident at the season eight finale uh, almost two years ago. And um, she's been experiencing some trauma ever since then. And finally, you know, after a, a while now of really Burgess and Ruzak kind of keeping things to themselves, mainly because of Burgess um, end of it, not really wanting to open up to Ruzak. She's been going to therapy, as, as you guys know, and her therapist actually suggested that uh, she bring in Adam for like a little family uh, situation. So to really talk about things and Adam, she assumed Adam, you know, didn't want to be a part of it. But Adam, you know, it's like, no, let's just do it. You know, and she had, you know, she asked him anyways, you know, probably intentionally hoping that he wouldn't go at the time. But uh, he went and he was very supportive and, and they were able to get everything that they've been holding secret to themselves out in the open. Um, you know, some of the quotes, uh, that they had here was that, um, you know, Ruzek was like, maybe, uh, there were just some times where I felt more, wanted more and she didn't feel the same way or want the same things, but you adjust, I adjust, we adjusted and worked through it. That's what Ruzek said. And then Burgess response was, I haven't ever not felt. It's not that I didn't feel the same way he did. I did. I always have. I just couldn't. I couldn't. I was just too. She couldn't get the words out. And then we go back to the, uh, you know, they went back home. And uh, she finally finished her thought. And she said she was too numb and scared. Finally revealing the reason why the romance has been on pause. And uh, it looks like that opening up, which led to a kissy scene. We're going to go over that in the next video. But, uh. That looks like that kind of led to them finally breaking out of the shell that they were in for such a long time together. And they were finally able to um, get themselves back to a point where they can uh, share each other romance, you know, and, uh, you know, get back to uh, being romantic. And, um, and, and it looks like the therapy sessions have been helping Burgess uh, kind of get get through some things. I, I think it's one of those things that she still kind of has to work through though. And, uh, it's still going to be a bit of a challenge for her, but she seems to be, uh, getting herself back into a spot where, um, things are getting back to normal for her. But I, I think this trauma is still something that's going to haunt her. Uh, and it has been doing an amazing job on the show as far as like bringing that realism in other trauma, having her handshake or whatever. And, uh, and it was an awesome episode, too, with this girl who, uh, I, th I believe she was raped by this guy who kind of, like, put her on a spell and, you know, she was acting weird and a lot of all this other stuff. So, it was just a really good case, though, man. But, uh, let me get y'all thoughts, man. We're gonna go over this kitchen scene next. Uh, make sure y'all like the video, share, subscribe on your way out of here. Thank y'all for watching. After news to, like.